This is Chris the Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Almost everyone that I've encountered that uses dive planning software for technical diving uses either GUE's Deco Planner or HHS Software's Multi Deco. There are, of course, other dive planning software packages. However, these are the two that I've encountered the most. Although I started technical diving with GOE's Deco Planner, I now actually only use Multi-Deco. Part of that is for economic reasons. It's actually a little bit less expensive for technical diving students, particularly if they purchase the mobile device version. As can be expected, the mobile device version is not quite as capable as the full PC version. The subject of today's video is calculating ascent pressures. While we could conduct these calculations manually, the use of decompression software makes the process much easier. These calculations can also be conducted with the mobile device version of the software. However, in some instances, it's necessary to use a few workarounds. For this example, we're going to use a technical dive to 300 feet, and we're going to have a total of four gases, a 2020 travel gas, a 1250 bottom gas, a 32% low O2 deco gas, and a 100% oxygen. Once you press the calc button for the program, uh, the screen will calculate your decompression plan and it will also activate the upper uh, icons on the screen. To look at the turn pressure calculations, we're going to go to the turn P icon at the top of the screen, which is now active. The turn pressure dialog box will then come up but uh, we're not really interested in turn pressure. What we're interested in is ascent pressure. So here we're going to define ascent pressure uh, in one of two ways. Uh, the first way is the pressure at which you must ascend to follow your deco plan. And then the second way is the pressure at which you must ascend in order to have at least one third reserve at your first gas switch. We're going to calculate this both ways. So. Um, uh, divers can see what the difference is between the, uh, the two approaches. With method A, we actually have to add in a new formula, and we do that by pressing the Add button. And what we see here is a little diagram of the dive. So uh, the area A is uh, uh, the descent part of the dive, B is the bottom time, and then this part C here is the ascent from the bottom to the um, first gas switch. So um, we're going to call this uh, we're going to call this ascent pressure. And uh, remember, what this is is not the amount of pressure that we use, but it is the amount that uh, we're going to be looking at uh, for our gauge. All right, so uh, we're going to start out with uh, three thousand psi. And what we're going to do is subtract from that the amount of gas that we're going to use during the descent and then also the amount of gas we're going to use during the bottom uh, portion of the dive. And that will leave us uh, what gas we need when we're going to ascend. So uh, we're going to put in a variable PA here. PA means primary diver and the A means uh, this leg of the dive. So we're going to add to that uh, PB. And uh, then we're going to uh, click OK. And that's going to show up right here. So then all we need to do is uh, check that box. And then uh, we have everything else filled out. Uh, we're going to click OK. And it's going to tell us that we need to ascend when our pressure gauge reaches 1,681 PSI. This, of course, assumes that we're going to be following our original uh, dive plan. One thing to note in this dive plan is that we are not actually using all our gas up to our reserve by the time we reach our first gas switch. To talk about uh, method two, we need to go back to our little diagram. And so uh, again, we have the descent, the bottom time, and then we have our ascent to our first gas switch. Uh, in this case, uh, with this example, we're actually going to be switching to a travel gas rather than to uh, a Tico gas. All right, so um, we're going to still be on the uh, bottom gas up to this point. And what we want to do at this point is we still want to keep our one-third reserve. So if our initial starting pressure is 3,000 PSI, 
uh, when we reach this point here and switch to our travel gas, then what we want to have is we want to have at least 1,000 PSI. So the issue with calculating this is this particular leg here because what we want to do is we want to find out what is the ascent pressure, which is the pressure at this point here. So in order to do that, we need to calculate how much gas we're going to use from this point to this point. And of course, that depends upon different things like your ascent rate and uh, also how uh, deep it is between the bottom uh, and the first gas switch. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing um, in our next little segment here. All right, so uh, in order to uh, calculate the um, uh, ascent pressure in this manner, uh, what we need to do is uh, add an artificial deco gas. Uh, and this uh, particular uh, method uh, can be used not only with the desktop version on the computer, uh, but also uh, it can be used uh, with the mobile device. Uh, method one cannot be used with the mobile device because the uh, version of the software is not uh, sophisticated enough. So in order to do this, what we basically need to do is to create a uh, fake uh, deco gas. And what we're going to do is we're going to set that to our uh, bottom. And we're going to essentially calculate that uh, uh, gas consumption leg uh, going from the bottom uh, up to the first gas switch whether that's a travel gas or uh, a decompression gas. So we're going to add in this artificial gas that's going to go from the bottom up to uh, the uh, first um, gas switch. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm now going to go and press calculate, and we're not uh, interested in uh, this part here right now. Uh, what we're interested in is this part down here. Um, so what this says is that um, uh, the amount of uh, gas, the volume of gas that we're going to be consuming on the ascent from the bottom to the first uh, gas switch is going to be 35.1 uh, cubic feet. So we are now going to use the 35.1 cubic feet in our subsequent calculations in order to determine what our uh, ascent pressure is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate uh, what the uh, ascent pressure is uh, if we were to go all the way to uh, our one-third reserve uh, at our first gas switch. All right, so we're going to take 35.1, uh, which is the uh, cubic feet that we're going to use on the ascent. And the first thing we need to do is we need to convert that into uh, a pressure. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take the 35.1 and we'll divide it by 160 cubic feet. And then we're going to multiply it by the working pressure of the tanks, which is 3,000. So what this says is uh, during that uh, ascent phase, we're going to be using up uh, 658 uh, PSI out of, our, uh, out of our set of doubles. So uh, what we need to do is we need to take the 658, uh, and then uh, we're going to add in our uh, one-third reserve, which is 1,000 and we're going to get uh, 1658 PSI. And so uh, this is the amount that we need to have uh, remaining. So when our pressure gauge reaches 1658 PSI, uh, we need to begin our ascent. And if we do begin our ascent at that time, when we get to our first gas switch, then we'll be at the point where we have our full one third reserve of 1000 PSI. So, why bother with method two, this method, when method one is available? Remember back when I mentioned that the uh, mobile device uh, version of the software was not as capable? This is actually uh, the situation that you might encounter. The turn pressure formula method in method one uh, does not exist uh, in the mobile device version. Uh, so if you are interested in easily calculating your turn pressure, you're going to have to use method two and use an artificial deco gas to calculate the amount of gas you would use during the ascent. Of course, you could always do all these calculations by hand, but then again, that would defeat the purpose of having die planning software to start with.